Hey everyone, this is Nico, and in this video I'll show you how to install and start using the Decentraland Editor. The Decentraland Editor is a tool for creating scenes, and you'll see that it makes this a whole lot easier. The first step is to go to docs.decentraland.org and find the Editor Installation Guide. You'll see that the steps here are not very complicated at all. So the first step is to go and install Visual Studio Code. This is a powerful development tool for writing code, but it's also a platform that allows for much more. Um, so first, go and download the installer and go through the steps in the installation wizard. It should be a fairly straightforward and standard installation procedure. Once you've installed Visual Studio Code, head over to this icon here. This takes you to the extensions market. If you open the extensions, you will see that there is a large collection of extensions that you can choose from. We will look for the, the central extensions and find this extension here, the Decentraland Editor extension. See that it's marked with a blue ribbon. Uh, all you have to do is install it, install it. Once the installation is complete, you have everything set up to start using the Decentraland Editor. Visual Studio Code might prompt you to restart the window in case you're using Mac, but in my case, I don't need to. Um, and I can already see that there is a brand new icon right here on the menu. This icon refers to uh, the new extension we just installed and as you'll see here, there aren't many options I can do right now, but that's because I'm opening Visual Studio Code without pointing to any particular folder on my machine. If I open some, some folder anywhere on my machine, you'll see that I can start treating this as a decentral project. So I selected a brand new empty folder, and now if I go back to this tab, you'll see that I have the, a new option to create a project. Now I can select what kind of project I want to create. In this case, I want to create a scene, and I can check which kind of template I want to start from. In this case, let's go with the first one, the cube spawner. Now this will take a minute or two as it installs all of the dependencies, and it builds out all of the basic files that make up a basic the center and scene. You can see now that if I go into the Explorer tab, I can see that my folder is no longer empty. There's a bunch of files that make up the basic contents of a simple scene. Mainly, I can look into the SRC folder, where you'll see that there's a game.ts file. This file contains all of my scene's code, but I can also add more files to extend this code, and I can also add all sorts of assets, 3D models, sound files, and whatever makes sense. So if I come back to the extensions tab, you'll see that there are now new options. I can run a scene, and this will start a preview of the center end in a brand new tab. Now I'm running at a center end preview right here inside VS Studio Code. And if I want to change anything about my scene's code, you will see that this hot reloads to reflect what my scene is doing. So maybe that wasn't popular. Whenever I change anything and save the code of my scene, you will see that it gets updated on the preview that I'm running on the other panel. And that is all you need to know to start working with the central editor. You can see that this is a powerful tool. There is more to explore and there are more features to cover. And this tool will also keep growing and will keep adding more and more features to make the development of scenes a lot easier and a lot more accessible. So I hope you found this useful and happy coding.